One, <clears throat> one, two, three, go. Hello, it's Ron back here with another video on Ron Brown's YouTube channel. Where we talk about a lot of drones, drone tech, drone gear, drone accessories. And today is a drone video. This is going to be a short video. Um, we've been waiting. DJI kind of, uh, you know, kind of halfway announced the Mini 2 SE, uh, you know, about a, maybe two months ago. And it never really came out. Uh, it was supposed to come out sometime in early February, and we never really saw it. Uh, supposedly it was going to be a, uh, available overseas earlier, but uh, I never really saw any kind of um, reviews or first flights from anybody in Australia and some of the places that thought they were going to get it sooner. But today, and today is um, March 16th, we all got an email about, I got it, 9.06 a.m. on the East Coast, and um, East Standard Time, that the, uh, the, the Mini 2 SE uh, was available. Uh, it retails for $339, and uh, you could pre-order now. It supposedly ships as early as the 18th if you were first in line to get it, and they promised a uh, two-day USP Express shipment. I uh, don't know exactly what that means, but a lot of people are reporting that have already ordered it, that they did not get charged tax, even if their state usually did charge tax on DJI drones. So, uh, again, all this information I'm giving you is kind of hearsay from, you know, uh, from people. Uh, uh, now, the 339 is actually, uh, uh, you know, on DJI's website. You can go to the DJI's website. It'll give you the price, specs, uh, the, you know, the... the the shipping, the uh, UPS shipping. So, uh, yeah, get over there and check it out. Uh, basically, all the Mini 2 SE, it's a dumbed-down version of the Mini 2. Uh, I think it's the same exact drone with a SE uh, uh, painted on the, you know, the arm there. And through firmware, some of the features take, like, it won't have 4K video. It won't do 2.7 to 60 frames per second. Uh, they took away, you know, some of the... Um, the other type uh, of feature, software features as far as, uh, you know, things like quick shots and so on and so, so forth. Uh, so, um, yeah, but, you know, it's 339 That's, uh, I think the Mini 2 was 449 when it, when it was current. Um, you know, I think I, I wouldn't expect to see that too much longer, at least new from DJI. And it seems like the Mini, the Mini SE, the, that was the first SE, it's no longer uh, in stock over at DJI. So, um Looks like they're pushing you towards this, uh, you know, the, the this Mini Two SC. Uh, if, uh, in in uh, sometime this year, the only uh, option to buy new from DJI uh, will be the probably the Mini Two SC, and then the Mini Three with all the other Mini Two and uh, you know Mini SE gone from their uh, website as far as being available to purchase new. You can always go over to places like. DJI's official eBay store, and you can get the older drones over there at a much reduced price, usually refurbished. You can still buy, you know, the, the, the Mini. I think the Mini SE over there is available for like 239 and, you know, so that's an option if you want to really save money. So all, basically, you know, if you have like a Mini 3, if you have a Mini 2, Mini 3, Mini 3 Pro, this drone should be no interest to you. It, uh, you know, it doesn't have any features that those drones Ha, uh, you know, that don't have, and it's, you know, it's dumbed down. It has less features than all those drones I just said. So, I mean, the only reason to get this, if you're out bargain hunting, bargain shopping, uh, you know, be the most affordable new drone you can buy from uh, DJI's website. So, again, that's it. Uh, you know, it's not a whole lot to say about this drone, uh, other than it's finally available. But the strange thing is, though, um, they thought so little of it that uh, even though it got released, they, none of the big channels like, you know, uh, Aldrin Flypath, uh, Billy Kyle, um, you know, all the big drone channels that usually have these drones out the first day they got their first flights or unboxings or first impressions, nothing. Nobody has a, none of the big YouTube channels have a video up on it so far. So um, this is, you know, you hear the term soft release. Well, this was a real soft release. You know, uh, which again, I kind of understand because uh, it's the same drone as the Mini 2. What are they going to say? Well, it flies just like the Mini 2, except it doesn't have 4K video and some of the other goodies, uh, you know. So, again, I, I, I kind of see the point in not sending out a whole bunch of freebies for people to, uh, you know, 
have to get the same exact flight test flight they did with the Mini 2. So anyhow, I've rambled on too long. This is a subject that doesn't need all that talk. Just if you're interested in drone, go over to DJI.com. I'm not sure if it's on Amazon yet. I did not get to check Amazon, but they're usually a day or two behind a DJI uh, website. So if you do want to buy it from Amazon, you know, give it the, you know, uh, what I say today was 16th. Give it the 17th, maybe 18th. And it should be up, uh, well, it should be, could be up at Amazon.com uh, for that uh, two-day uh, free shipping with good return policy. So, okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. And, oh, keep keep thinking of one more thing to say. If you want to really deep dive into the Mini 2 SE, you want to know all from, you know, soup to nuts on it, whatever, Marks and I did a, uh, a really in-depth in -depth video uh on the Mini 2 SE and the difference between the Mini SE, uh, the Mini 2, the Mini 3. But check it out over Dro Nation. Um, you know, it'll be, it, the video should be up uh, shortly over there. And uh, so if any, almost everything you want to know about these drones, it, it's over there. And Marcus did pre-order it, so hopefully he'll have it next week. And, uh, you know, he can, uh, you know, see if it uh, flies just like the Mini 2. Okay, we'll see you on the next one, folks. Got